What's up, guys, and welcome, Daily Theologians. I missed the story on Arthur Pulowski. Well, no more. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on what happened to him, because last I knew, he was in the Huskow in solitary confinement. So stick around for this and more news from Ireland. So unless you were sleeping under a rock, Arthur Pulowski was imprisoned back and forth, back and forth, feeding the homeless, standing up to the Gestapo, as he called them, in Canada. Anyways, he was arrested in extreme fashion several times and uh, became really the enemy of the state, like target number one. Well, it turns out in July of uh, this year, he was released and they ruled that everything against him was illegal. Uh, from what I understand, and now he's running for political office. I actually watched the video of his release, and they wouldn't let his family come near him because they said if anyone talks to him, they'll re-arrest him. So there's something just totally wrong with Canada and uh, how they're treating this guy. But now he's running for political office, and uh, who you know who knows? I don't know if that's the right thing or the good thing, but uh, he's trying to stand up to the evil and the tyranny, which is clearly present in the United States. I mean Canada. Now. As we consider uh, persecution of Christians and things of this nature, it's normative, and we shouldn't be surprised, though I think many of us would be. Uh, in Ireland, Enoch Burke was arrested on Monday for contempt of court after he breached an order not to teach at a school, Westmeath, or be physically present on the grounds, and his crime was using the incorrect pronouns. He says, I love my school with its motto, res non verba, actions, not words, but I'm here today because I said I would not call a boy a girl. He stated trans, I'm not even going to say that, it's not a real thing, is against my Christian belief. It's contrary to the scriptures. Uh, I also, I don't think we should use this term, honestly. It's, there's just boy and girl. So when you use their language, it's an attempt to change the argument. And so it's just, uh, there's just two genders. So it's against my Christian belief. It's contrary to the scriptures, contrary to the ethos of the Church of Ireland. Now, again, I don't know if the Church of Ireland is solid and of my school. Describing the suspension as unreasonable, unjust, and unfair, Burke said it was extraordinary and reprehensible that someone's religious beliefs of this matter could be taken as grounds for allegation of misconduct. Well, anyways, he's in the slammer now. This guy in Ireland is in jail. And so Arthur was in jail. James Coates was in jail. Tim Stevens was in jail. They tried to get the bulldog, aka John Macatha, but you can't take him down, not with his fresca powers. Anyways, uh, you can see where this goes. When you fail to obey the state, you become the enemy of the state. And so the solution here is to pray for those in authority over us, that we could lead quiet and peaceable lives, though not changing the truth. That does not mean not preaching the gospel or standing up for what's right. We just pray for favor in the sight of those ruling and pray for good rulers. Rulers are a judgment from God, so we can see that's happening. Uh, Romans 8.18, though, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us, Romans 8.18. I think that's the verse to keep in mind because Jesus is coming back and we need to make sure others have heard the gospel. They're not our enemies, even though they treat us as their enemies. They need to repent and believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of the God-man Jesus Christ. And uh, that's our ministry. We have a ministry of reconciliation. 2 Corinthians 5 is a great chapter for times like this, as well as First uh, Peter suffering in the midst of these things, uh, because this could be the fate for many of us, this place right here. That could be where we end up, and then we have a prison ministry. So take a moment, remember to pray, and remember to hammer that like button. Like the 95 Theses. Thank you so much. Leave a comment below and God bless.